Hi, I'm Allie Handel, and today I want to talk to you about open mics and how you can use an open mic experience to further develop yourself as a musician and as a performer. So, a little bit of background on me. I'm a singer-songwriter and recording artist based in Los Angeles, and when I first decided that I wanted to perform my own songs, I frequented open mics, and they were really instrumental in helping me to get my first gigs as an artist, and in helping me meet really amazing people that I've kept in touch with over many years and collaborated with, toured with, all kinds of stuff. So I really am a firm believer in the community building of open mics. So let's talk about how to prepare for an open mic and what you should do before you go to the open mic. Well, the first question you might have is, well, how do I find out about an open mic where I live? Uh, there's two ways you can go about that. One is I would first suggest you ask other singer-songwriters or musicians in your area if they know of any good open mics and check those out first. If you don't really know anybody you can ask or maybe those open mics weren't so great, <laughs> you could always turn to Google and just Google open mic and the name of your city or town and see what Google has to say. When you go that route I would recommend calling up whatever venue the open mic is in and making sure that it's still an active open mic because some of those listings can be out of date. So musically, how are you going to prepare for your open mic? Well, the first thing I would suggest is play your best song. I mean, that sounds kind of like an obvious piece of advice, but especially if you're new to performing and you're using an open mic to really get your performance chops happening, definitely go with something that you've rehearse and that you're as comfortable with as possible and something that you're really proud to play or sing. So you're going to pick your best song and you're also going to want to practice consistently and if you need some tips on how to best practice and get ready for your performance go ahead and check out my two-part series on how to practice and we'll put a link on, on this video for you so you can easily check that out. So make sure you're well rehearsed pick your best song, know where you're gonna go, and if you're really especially nervous about performing at an open mic, I would suggest going and checking it out one week and just don't even go with the expectation that you're gonna perform, just go and check it out. You know, get the vibe, maybe introduce yourself to the host when they're not busy, and just see what it's like. That way when you're rehearsing and, and getting ready for the open mic in the future, you'll actually be able to picture what it's going to be like, and it may be a little bit less scary. Okay, so now you've decided when you're going to go to your open mic, you've, you've practiced your best song, and you're ready to go. What are you going to do on the day of the open mic? Well, you're going to get there early. Often with open mics, the earlier you get there and sign up, the more choice you have into your position, and so you won't get stuck being the very first or the very last performer of the night, which usually is preferable. So get there early. Another thing that's good about getting there early is if you haven't yet introduced yourself to the host, it can give you an opportunity to do that. Now I will definitely suggest that you don't introduce yourself to the host if they're really frantic and running around and stressed out. Only introduce yourself to the host when they're relaxed and they have a little bit of time. So if you get there really early, you can do so usually. Or if you stay until the very end and after the whole show is over, then you can maybe get a chance to talk to the host. And that's always really good to do. So you've gotten to the venue early. Go ahead and pick out your favorite place to sit. You can either sit up front or you can sit towards the back, whatever you want, wherever you're most comfortable. But make sure that if you are sitting close to the front, once the show starts, make sure you're really respectful of your fellow performers. Don't take out your cell phone and look at it or talk to your neighbor. It just, It's just not cool. And really, one of the greatest things about an open mic is building a community among songwriters. And you want to give them the respect that you'd like to get when you're performing. So. Have a seat, enjoy the performance, order some food and drink, and support the venue that is hosting this open mic and helping to build this community. And be aware of when you're gonna be up soon. So usually at an open mic, the host will read like the three or four names that are gonna be coming up soon so you can get prepared in advance. So when there's about two people in front of you, make sure if you're gonna be playing guitar at least, you get up and you go somewhere in the club or the venue where you're not gonna be heard and tune your instrument. Make sure you arrive on stage 
with that guitar in tune. That being said, if you do get on stage and you play just like a test chord, which I highly recommend you do, and you find that that test chord is out of tune, just tune, even if you're on stage. I mean, it, it is an open mic. A lot of people are going to be nervous, but really you don't want to play your whole song out of tune. It's just painful for everyone involved. So make sure you tune. <laughs> Take a few deep breaths, prepare yourself mentally. And when they call you, get on stage, play that test chord, make sure you're in tune, and then do your best to just relax and enjoy yourself. Even if you're nervous, know that most everybody who's performing that night is nervous. And if this is your first time performing or one of your first times, just be proud of yourself that you're there and doing it. That's a lot more than a lot of other people would ever do. So, you know, just do your best to enjoy yourself and enjoy the music that you're making. Once you're done, wait for the sign from the sound person that it's okay to unplug your instrument if you're a guitar player and plugged in and smile, say thank you to the audience and go ahead and take your seat. I recommend that you stick around for the whole show so that you can make more friends, check out other people who are performing, and especially get to know the people who you think are fantastic songwriters or singers or instrumentalists. Open mics are great places for networking and for meeting future collaborators. And I just can't state highly enough how great it is to just stick around to the end and just be there for the hang. That's half of the fun of the open mic. Oh, one more tip about when you're finished performing. If there's anything that you thought went particularly well or that you thought that you could do better or you messed something up, just take a minute and jot it down for yourself. It's something that you can work on for the next time you go to an open mic or the next time you perform that particular song. And I think it's just a really good idea to keep track. You know, it's while it's fresh in your mind, just jot down anything that you think needs to be improved or anything that you think you did really well at. So your open mic, experience is complete. No matter how it went, I really suggest that you go back. What you do after your open mic is you get ready to do another one. And that's the best way to become a better performer is to exercise that performance muscle. Also, keep in touch with the people that you really were impressed with at the open mic. And you could start the beginnings of some really great collaborative relationships with other musicians. I hope you found this video helpful. As I mentioned earlier, I am a recording artist and as a touring musician, I'd love to be able to keep in touch with you and let you know when I'm coming to your town or when I've got new music coming out. If that sounds good to you and you'd like to download a free song from me, go ahead and click on the link below or go to allyhandlemusic.com and I'll send you a free song and I'll keep in touch with you via my newsletter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps and don't forget, you rock.